Hey guys, it's Sam, and today I'm doing the hashtag Conquering Kingdoms tag. This tag was created by Morgan Rhodes, the author of Falling Kingdoms, to celebrate the fourth book coming out, Frozen Tides, which comes out on December 15th, and I am so excited! Just to let you guys know, this video is not sponsored, I'm not being paid or anything like that. You can check out my description bar down below if you're interested in any kind of disclaimer information. This tag is super cool because Morgan created the questions herself, she wrote them out, with her little penmanship and sent them to all of us and so it's really awesome that an author gets so involved in booktube and tags and stuff like that. Morgan is awesome with her fan community so I love her so so much. I have done a spoiler free review of the first three Fallen Kingdoms books so I have a link on the screen if you guys want more information on them but the very short and summary of it is that it's a six book fantasy series that takes place in a fantasy world where there are three different kingdoms, there are four different POVs that we mainly follow, and there's turmoil, constant unrest, political maneuvering, magic, craziness, wars, rebels, assassins. I love it so so much but again if you want more of my in-depth thoughts and everything go and check out that full review which I did on the first three books. So all these questions that Morgan has created are about conquering a kingdom. Question number one, in Medica, which is the world that Fallen Kingdoms takes place in, there are constant betrayals and you can't trust anyone. Which book character would you trust to be your sidekick on this adventure? Oh man, who do I trust? All my favorite characters are shady. There's nobody to trust. For that I'm gonna have to go with Kelsier from the Mistborn trilogy. I absolutely adore his character and although he is kind of a shady character because all my favorite characters are morally gray, kind of have something up their sleeve, he is very loyal to his friends and to his close companions so I absolutely think that he'd be a great person to have at your side and he's a badass so he can protect me because I probably can't protect myself. Two, you'll come across many who will want you dead, Medica, so you need to be ready to fight. What kind of warrior are you? Gonna have to definitely go with like a ranger, assassin, pirate, because those are my favorite kind of warriors and people to be. Like if I'm in a video game scenario or something, I kind of pick like the ranger character that can kind of do a little bit of everything. I feel like rangers are kind of jack of all trades in the warrior kind of cast system, so ranger, assassin, pirate, my dream. Number three, which fantasy world would you like to conquer? I feel like I mention this world a lot, but it's one of my favorites and I think it would be a lot of fun to be in, and that is the world in Fire by Kristen Kishur, which is called the Dells. In this world there are normal people and normal animals, but there are also monsters, which are basically any kind of human or animal or anything that are in crazy, crazy colors, like beautiful, crazy fuchsia, purple, teal, starred, I don't know, crazy colors, and these monsters are all craving flesh basically. So they're very violent creatures but it's a beautiful setting, it's a beautiful surrounding, the like foliage and everything is gorgeous and it's a just completely different world. If I could conquer it, it'd be wonderful. Very scenic. Number four, which fictional character would you choose to rule by your side? <laughs> I have so many that I could choose but I think you guys know what I'm gonna say. I kind of have two answers for this, but both of them come from the Grisha trilogy by Lee Bardugo. One is Alina Starkov, who is the main character in this series, and I absolutely adore her. She is my queen of everything and life, and she'd be just such a fair ruler, and she's been through a lot, and I just feel a lot of feelings for Alina as a character. But also, if I'm having a bad day, I would also say the Darkling. For all of his faults, and there are many because he is a trash king, he knows how to rule with an iron fist if need be, and he's evil, and he could probably conquer any world that he set his mind to, honestly, because he's the Darkling and he can do whatever he wants, and he's pretty to look at, and yeah. But my one stipulation is that we have to rule evenly. I know that it wouldn't really, he wouldn't really want to do that because that, again, is his nature and he doesn't want to share things, but I would make him because, <laughs> yes. But Alina is the better choice, obviously, and queen of my whole life, but I need to stop. I need to put this book down. I need I need to stop. Number five, who would you throw into the dungeon? I actually want to choose a Fallen Kingdoms character here, but I'm going to resist from choosing any Fallen Kingdoms characters for this tag because you guys just need to go read the books. I'm going to choose somebody else that I don't like. Who do I hate? For this, I'm going to choose Feyre from A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Maas because girl, ugh, so annoying. I don't really want to kill her. She's not somebody that I really want to kill. I wouldn't care if she died slowly in the dungeons for lack of food and shelter and sleep and stuff, but yeah, she's just so annoying. If you would like more of my thoughts on this book, I will leave my link to my spoiler-free review on the screen. <sighs> Feyre. Feyre. 
Number six, who gets stabbed in the back? Yay, I get to choose two characters that I don't like to talk about in this tag. Awesome. So for this, I'm gonna have to go with Gwen from the Ruby Red trilogy. Oh my goodness, she was so annoying and made dumb decisions all the time. And that's why I think she gets stabbed in the back because she'd do something stupid and then would get stabbed in the back or trust the wrong person because that's what she does, like falling in love with the person that she's known for like two seconds. Yeah. This is another series that I have a spoiler free review on and I was not thrilled with it, obviously. And number seven, what elemental magic would you choose to wield and why? So this is fire, air, water, earth. This is really hard because even though I haven't watched Avatar The Last Airbender, I have a lot of feelings about it. Don't ask me, I'm on Tumblr. So there's so many choices I could make here. But honestly, I think fire is the one that speaks to me the most. I just feel like that's the one, if I had to choose an elemental magic, that's the one I could most see myself wielding. I have an Irish temper, so that could be why I say that because it just speaks to my soul a little more than the other ones do, but I also have a lot of feelings about like water and earth bending, because that's what I think of when I think of elemental magic. <laughs> Although whichever one lets you control the weather would also be cool, because I have a lot of feelings about storm. I am also going to be tagging Marinas from My Name is Marinas, Sarah Jane from The Book Life, Kristen from Kappa 89X, Diana from Novel T, and Victoria from Victoria Shaz. Alright guys, that is it for the hashtag Conquering Kingdoms tag. Comment down below and let me know what elemental magic you would choose to wield and also what fantasy world you would choose to conquer. There are so many and they are all so so dangerous so it's really kind of hard to choose one. So thank you all for watching and I'll see all of you guys soon. Bye!